Good morning, students. <clears throat> Ms. Mack here. We are going to start off our day with a mindfulness exercise. So um, let's think a little bit about um, the zones again. So we talked about last week, we focused a lot on pretending to be in a certain zone and then using mindfulness to get back to the green zone. So um, let's, let's do that again today just so that I just want to really make sure that you guys understand um, how to get yourselves calm, happy, and ready to learn. So again, <clears throat> and I'm I'm sorry if you guys already know the zones and you've you're just the masters at it. Um, but I'm going to review this one more time. Um, yellow zone is when we're super wiggly. Um, we have a lot of energy. Um, it could just be frustrated. Uh, red zone is super angry. We always think of that little character anger from inside out, uh, maybe losing your cool. Um, blue zone could be like sadness, the other inside out character. It could be tired. It could be like sick, not feeling good. Um, so green zone is where we all would like to be if we're going to be learning. None of the zones are bad um, because it's completely normal to have different feelings. You're going to feel mad at some point and sad and sick and tired and wiggly. Um, none of the zones are bad, but if we're going to be focused in learning and making big decisions, we just always want to be calm. So think about what zone you are in. And if, if you haven't gotten um, the zones in your head yet, that's okay. Just think about what is going on with your body. Are you tired? Are you sick? Are you super wiggly, super hyper? Um, are you mad, frustrated? So think about where, what you're feeling. Get comfortable. Close your eyes or look down. And take a deep breath in with me. Hold it. And out. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And out. Stretch your neck. Take a deep breath in. Hold it. And out. Today is Thursday. We're almost to Friday, almost to the weekend. I want you to think about in your head what you want your goal for today to be. It could be super small. Like it could be um, eating right at lunch. It could be getting exercise on the playground. It could be trying your best, persevering through math. Um, making a friend. Think of something that you want to accomplish today and just breathe normally and think really hard about something you want to happen in your day today. Is there a task you want to get done? A friend you want to make? Now think about how you can get that goal accomplished. So if it's a friend you want to make, how do we make friends? We can give compliments. We can ask people to play. If it's persevere through math, we can ask questions for the teacher to make sure we're understanding. We can listen. Think about what you need to do to meet your goal for today. Just breathe.
Now I want you to imagine it's the end of the day. You're going home. You're excited to be in your safe space, doing your own thing, relaxing with people you love, pets and animals that you care about, to make you happy. One more deep breath in. And now, all right, you guys can open your eyes. Don't forget the goal that you thought about in your head that you want to accomplish today. Have a great day.